All right, we're going to look at another installment loan example here. But before we do, I just want to show you some things that kind of help clean up your spreadsheet if you want. Um, I really would like to make these smaller and then make my numbers bigger because they're kind of hard to see. So um, the problem is that this heading is kind of long. So here's something you can do. You can just grab this first one, your heading thing, and kind of pull it down. And then I'm going to uh, grab just all my titles here, and I'm going to go view... No, I don't want that. I want format, and then I want wrapping, and then I'm going to say wrap. Okay, let's try this. So now I'm going to make this column. There we go. See how it's making it wrap around like that? That's kind of nice. Now I can make those like that. Now maybe I'll um, show this a little bit bigger, make the numbers a little bigger for you to see. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's take a look at our next example. It says you can afford $200 per month as a car payment. Suppose you can get an auto loan at 3% interest for 60 months. Use a spreadsheet to determine how expensive a car you can afford. In other words, what amount of loan can you pay off with $200 a month? All right, so we want to set our monthly payment at a fixed amount of $200. So we're not going to use this payment formula at all. We're just going to put in $200. Delete 200. Now, remember, we set up this spreadsheet so that this cell B4 is looking at cell B3. And so everything automatically updated really nicely. All right. And this is looking at B4, etc. Now, all these numbers kind of don't look like um, dollars anymore. The reason it did that, when we use the payment formula, the spreadsheet intuited that we were dealing with money and automatically changed the formatting but uh, let's just change it back I like the little money formatting it makes it look all official okay beautiful what else do we need to change interest uh, our interest rate is three percent so we need to change that to three percent great and we still have a 60 month time frame so what the spreadsheet is showing right now, let's get rid of this. What the spreadsheet is showing is if I bought a car for $19,560 and had a 3% interest rate, um, oh, this monthly payment needs to be negative, doesn't it? Sorry, these values are, this is adding, right? We need to make this a negative 200 to be a payment. This is good though, right? This happens to you. You're doing a spreadsheet. You're like, wait, these numbers don't look right. Happens to all of us. So it's kind of a good thing to see. I didn't do it on purpose. Um, but I'm looking and my balance is going up. And I'm like, why is my balance going up? My amount to principal, you know, I don't have any negatives here, right? So this needs to be a negative. Change that to a negative. Easy fix. Everything's fixed. Okay, now my got my interest. Let's see, did this fill down? No, we didn't fill that down yet, right? So that's 3%. We still got to fill that down. I wonder if I could change this. No, I can't do that. Okay, we got to fill down our interest. The other one updated. It's always good to check. Just look at your little formulas. Our interest should be going down. That looks good. Let's see, do these look good? This is still taking B3. Plus, yeah, it's still adding straight across, so that looks good. And this is still taking the previous balance plus the amount to principal. Okay, so this is showing that if I borrowed $19,560 at this interest rate and paid $200 per month, after 60 months, I would still owe $9,000. So if I want to pay this off in 60 months, I can't afford that much car. What we're looking for is something that makes this zero. So this is in cell E62. Let's just go ahead and, and pin that up here. Um, we can say we can say amount owed if we want to remind us what's happening. And then we'll do equals, was it E63? E63. Where is it? Uh, it was E62. That's why it's not showing anything because there's nothing in E63. So it was showing me what was exactly in there. All right, so maybe we do this because we like to be fancy and we do a little highlight. 
All right, that's my amount owed after 60 months. I need to get this to zero. So now I'm just going to start messing with this number. Can I afford a $10,000 car? I can, because if I bought a $10,000 car, I would be, um, you know, in a negative. So, like, I'd have it paid off before then. If once it goes negative, then people kind of, you know, you they owe you money back. Okay, so we can afford a little more. 11000 Looks like 11500 Okay, that's too much. 11300 Still too much. 11200 Okay, so just keep futzing with this till you can kind of get it close to a dollar amount. I mean, you're pretty close. Now, if you're shopping for a car, you have a pretty good idea. You don't have to get it to exactly zero. You can afford right around 11100 bucks, maybe somewhere around in there, okay? And if you're not too crazy, oh, that was a good guess. So that's the way that you can kind of uh, mess around and see maybe how much you can actually afford to pay, how much you can afford to buy using um, a spreadsheet.